presents the Endurance Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Transmission. Welcome back to the Irwin Tools Endurance Countdown for 2011. I'm Grant Rowley from speedcafe.com. I've got Jack Perkins and Chris Jewell with me. Thanks for coming, boys. Today we're talking about the Fujitsu Racing Team, Gary Rogers Motorsport, Car 33 and Car 34. In 33 will be Lee Holdsworth teamed up with Greg Ritter, and in 34 it will be Marcus Marshall with regular driver Michael Caruso. Now Chris, last year Lee Holdsworth was one of the only drivers to go and offer Team Vodafone a genuine challenge. With uh, He was with David Bernard last year, this year with Greg Ritter. Can those two guys do the, the replicate that form? Yeah, I think they can, um, for fear of being inaccurate. Their speed this year hasn't been what I thought it was going to be, which means I'll go even better still now that I've said that, but I genuinely think that combination will be a real contender. Greg Ritter is always exceptionally fast, consistent and clean up there, and Lee Holdsworth could well have scored a Bathurst win last year, so that combination are in my top four or five. Lee Holdsworth, Jack, goes into these races with his career uh, in the balance. Uh, a lot of talk about where he could go and uh, unlikely to stay at Gary Rogers Motorsport next year. Is that something that's going to play on his mind going into these big races? Oh, I don't think it will. Each year at Bathurst, Lee has really stepped it up, you know, to the point where he led a lot of laps last year, had a really fast car, and I think, you know, this year will be the same. Um, Greg will probably get his eye in at Phillip Island, dust off the cobwebs, being a part-time driver, full-time plasterer, and then by the time he gets to Bathurst, he will be very quick. Now we've spoken a lot about Lee Holdsworth and Greg Ritter. We haven't mentioned uh, just yet Michael Caruso and Marcus Marshall. I caught up with Caruso at Queensland Raceway to speak about their chances and Marcus Marshall in particular heading into the big ones. Michael Caruso, the team was very fast at Bathurst last year. You head there with a new endurance driver this year, Marcus Marshall. What's your feelings going in? Uh, look, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I mean, we're probably in terms of height, where they're probably the biggest difference in terms of driver lineup this year. But, um, you know, Marcus has a lot of experience and, um, you know, everyone knows when you go to Bathurst, the experience, and obviously we've got good car speed as well. So uh, we've been really working well together, um, which is important. And, um, you know, what, what more can you do than go to Bathurst and hopefully be there in the last 20 odd laps? That was Michael Caruso, Fujitsu racing driver. Now, Chris, Michael hasn't been in race winning touch this year, but is this combination one to watch? Yeah, it is, but there's just something not right there. I don't know what it is because uh, Michael was much quicker last year, was up on the outskirts of the top 10 in the championship, but we're rarely seeing him inside the top half of the field this year for whatever reason. So motivation-wise, you know, he'll be keen to do a good job there. He has a very underrated co-driver with him, Marcus Marshall as well. Maybe they can redeem themselves. And if you redeem yourself in those races, it normally builds on into the next year and protects your career. If you're a fan of Marcus Marshall, you, 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 do you think he can do the job? Yeah, absolutely. Marcus took over from uh, my driving duties in the number 11 Jack Daniels car in 2007 and he is a really good driver. So um, Caruso has been on the podium at Bathurst. Marshall can do the job. They are definitely a roughie in my opinion. That's 33 and 34, the Fujitsu Racing GRM entries. You're on the Irwin Tools Endurance Countdown and we'll be back tomorrow. When you've got a job to do and not much time to do it, you can't beat Irwin Groove Lock Pliers. With an innovative press and slide button, they are just twice as fast as a regular pair of multi-grips. Irwin Tools.